So friends, can you see me? I am on Metaverse now. Do you know what is Metaverse? So this is called, uh, you know, um, it's augmented re reality or AR device. So this is what I, I think I bought it uh, quite a few years uh, back. And uh, this is where you know you can uh, put your uh, uh, mobile phone or cell phone there, so it comes up, and you can um, play an app, and you can play games. You can you know um, also watch uh, you know there are videos of um, uh, you know underneath the ocean. So there is a lot of things you can do. You know the mobile app based. So this is the new age, uh, you know, we are going into um, that is called the metaverse, which uh, this device, which was, uh, you know, since probably last uh, 10, 15 years back, uh, this, is, uh, this has been there. But now we are going to uh, get into a new era, okay, which is called metaverse, where you will understand, uh, you must have come across the terms like uh, non-fungible tokens like NFT and uh, uh, DeFi or uh, decentralized finance, uh, blockchain based, uh, you know, um, um, technologies that are so many evolving, uh, you know, so the, for example, the cryptocurrencies, okay, which uh, you must have come across and you have, must have seen that it's uh, going through the roof and then, you know, it's quite fluctuating. But um, all these are a part of something coming, which is called a W3 or, uh, you know, uh, 3.0, which is um, the World Wide Web. So now the internet or the web, what we are using is uh, uh, 2.0, okay? Um, so web W1.0 is the initial version of internet when it came in, you know, dial up internet and uh, it was kind of uh, interaction um, uh, between, um, you know, kind of, uh, you know, individual isolated, then uh, came for example, and well, you had this uh, websites when they used to go and, uh, you know, uh, get this information or watch or uh, access your email accounts then uh, you know came the revolution of uh, big titans or big companies like facebook uh, you know which revolutionized the entire thing whereby it it become a centralized um, kind of uh, you know websites where you know all these companies like facebook amazon um, twitter and uh, you know they become so powerful or google become so powerful because they started to ga gather data Okay, so they, they became the um, a repository, okay? They hold uh, so much of data, they became extremely powerful, okay? And uh, now with the centralized data, okay? It's just like another government, okay? Um, or another central bank, okay? Where, uh, you know, the um, ability or, or the authorization to create or mint money is with the central bank of any country. Um, so whenever there is a there is excessive power, and you know with uh, you know with a very small group of people, or one organization, then you know it's kind of a monopoly. You must have seen uh, come across. Uh, you know there are so many uh, court cases and the lawsuits been filed against uh, Facebook in in the U.S. Um, so privacy laws because they they harness it they have so much of data um, you know about all of us you and me uh, you know they track everything google facebook uh, you know um, they they have all the information about what do you like what is your age where are you based uh, you know where did you go yesterday you know they kind of everything they are just looking into you know if you are using uh, you know like uh, a, a, you know alexa or echo you know like th these devices as well they track you so much okay so that is no so for our convenience we are kind of we have lost our privacy so now with this new era of uh, uh, w3 or 3.0 you know which is a worldwide waves uh, you know um uh, web 3.0 version 
um, where we are going to dismantle or, or the proposal or the way the world is evolving now with um, um, World 3.0 or World Wide Web 3.0 or the new version of internet, okay, is where, um, you know, it is a, we are, we, we are, will be connected to a world, okay, as a 3D world, okay. Um, where, uh, you know, you can, uh, you know, this is kind of a very bigger version as well, where you can be on the metaverse, which is on W3 uh, metaverse uh, world where three-dimensional virtual reality and augmented reality immersed uh, kind of a, a universe that's called the meta uh, metaverse or the, you know, universe like metaverse. So this is a different world altogether, okay? And also in that same environment, everything will be decentralized. Okay, what does that mean? So that means, uh, you know, in this W dot, uh, you know, W3 or uh, 3.0 um, internet, what is coming now. Um, so the powers of these um, mega companies like, like Facebook will be completely be dismantled where um, people like you and me, okay, um, you know, will be able to do, uh, you know, so we'll have the control of, uh, you know, our own data. So what does that mean? So that means just try to understand this. Now, if you, if you know a bit of how it works, for example, Facebook has their own server, okay? And uh, I am here, okay? Or you are, you are there, okay? You log into Facebook or you have the app installed on your phone, then as soon as you tap on the app, you are connected through the internet uh, to the Facebook server. And uh, so that means there is a server and you are the, we are the users, okay? So we are getting the access and they are giving us the access. They have all this information because the connectivity is established. We have created the connection now. Now with this W3, what is emerging now, okay? Then this new, uh, 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 world of uh, internet, what is going to happening or what is going to happen is, uh, you know, the users, okay, are also going to be the servers, okay, so servers means what, that means they are also, they will be giving the data as well, okay, so when I become the server as well, just like Facebook used to be a server, they have this uh, power, and uh, you know they have all the information. If I am the server, I have the ability now to to uh, uh, you know serve the, uh, the data. And uh, you know, so I am not only accessing the data, but I am giving the data. Uh, so that is where I my data I could keep it encrypted. So that means if somebody wants this information, then only they can I can give them the access. They can go and uh, you know verify the data and that's it so they can, they are they are out so that it's the the uh, kind of verification is complete so uh, they i do not have to disclose i do not have to give my data to them instead they want the data they come and uh, with the encryption uh, you know high level encryption they are going to uh, go and get or access the data verify it and that's it okay then they, they come out. So they are not going to hold the data. They are not going to um, going to get the data from you. So your privacy, uh, you know, remains uh, with you. So that is the revolutionizing concept of W3 or 3.0, which is which is coming in. So not only the Facebook now the banks. Okay, there is a major change going in the banking sector as well. Okay, which is called the decentralized finance. So in the DeFi or decentralized finance, um, this is going to again, completely dismantle and disrupt the entire banking industry, okay? So how is it going to change is uh, with the D DeFi, they, they call it a short form DeFi, which has been there for a few years now, uh, you know, which has been evolved now, it is still evolving, which is a fantastic kind of uh, evolution as well. So what is happening there is now, entire finance was kind of institutionalized. So that means finance is what? Finance means, uh, you know, um, you know, the money, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, money circulation, okay? anything relating to money circulation, that means circulation means, uh, uh, for an example, lending the money, borrowing uh, uh, the, the money, lending and borrowing, that was a bank was mainly responsible for. 
and uh, then investment or, or insurance, okay? Um, so those are kind of a major things what bank used to do, okay? So that means they used to get them our money and then they invest it in uh, different places. That means they give the money to the people who are looking. So that means they take our money because we have extra money to save and then uh, invest in, uh, in different places or give that money uh, or lend that money to other people and charge higher interest interest rate uh, you know uh, from them or invest in different companies okay huge investment they make a humongous profit these uh, you know ceos of uh, these investment banks uh, you know um, their uh, annual bonuses are in multiple millions of dollars and you have must have seen the big massive buildings uh, you know of uh, city of new york if you go or uh, you know city of london if you go any financial hub, if you go, you see those buildings and who pays for those uh, massive buildings and this high salary of all these, uh, you know, bank executives. So this is us, okay? So this has has been running in, uh, you know, uh, centralized finance. That's the how it has been done before, okay? And for a long duration of time, uh, if, you, if you see, then uh, people like us, we did not know or we did not have any power on our money. We were only trained to make money, okay, by working for somebody uh, or, you know, starting your own business as well if you are doing something. But we are least educated or we do not have any control on, okay, after you make the money, what do you, do, uh, what do you need to do to multiply that money? So we didn't have any education or we don't have any understanding. And that is the reason why now another professionals, you know, like the whole breed of professionals came in, who are called financial advisors or financial consultants, whatever they, they are. Now their role is to take care of our money, your money. Okay. So that means, see my money, I, I don't know how to manage my money. So that's why I will get somebody else to manage my money. Okay. Can you imagine that? So that is what has ended, uh, um, you know, all of us are ended up where, you know, we don't know how to get our money to work for us, okay? So, and this new era of W3 or Web 3.0 uh, is, uh, you know, kind of a uh, reframing the entire banking infrastructure or financial system, whereby we don't have to go for a bank, I can be my own bank. Wow, okay, how is that possible, okay? Because if I have the ability to um, you know, lend money to someone, or I have the ability to borrow money, okay, with a peer-to-peer, -peer, this is called a peer-to-peer -peer technology. This is what the revolution is, guys. So you have to understand the revolutionary concept of peer-to-peer -peer financing. Peer-to-peer -peer means you are sitting there, I am here, you have the money, and I am looking to borrow money, okay, for uh, investment or whatever I am doing a project. If I need your money, Okay, and you are there. So peer to peer is a uh, blockchain based, uh, you know, um, transaction. Okay, whereby, so what is a blockchain? Okay, blockchain is a very simple kind of, well, I wouldn't say it's simple, but you know, if you want to understand it simply, um, blockchain is a, a kind of a register. Okay, any transaction you do, you know, um, uh, what was the accountant's job? If they used to record it, okay, that okay, I um, I um, I owe someone this much of money. Okay, I sold this this uh, uh, amount of uh, you know goods. So they record it. So that's a journalizing. So banks, what they do, okay, bank is the biggest record keeper. Okay, so they they keep the record. Okay, uh, you know when you log into your app, what do you do? So you just, uh, you know, banks only show you the record, okay? They keep the record. So that means they keep the record of our uh, transaction, our, you know, kind of what, what we did with our own money. They keep a transaction. So that's called a record. So why, why is it needed that a bank should keep the record, okay? Why not, uh, you know, us? So that is what the decentralization of the finance is, which is a huge concept now where you know bank do not have to keep the record decentralized means so i can be the bank so that means i keep my own record so that means this is a, a fantastic concept where i became the authority of my own finances okay so i should be able to decide uh, you know 
uh, what do I need to do with my finances? I should be the bank. I do not need anyone's permission. What do you do? So if you are looking for a loan, if you want to uh, take a loan, you know, let's any kind of a loan, st student loan, uh, you are going to do what for studies or if you want to buy a car or a house, what happens here, okay? So the process of buying itself, okay, or taking a loan itself, it's quite onerous, okay? So there's so much of approvals and uh, you have to go and apply you know, the processes and they may reject you as well without giving you any reason. So what if this entire thing could be, could be uh, uh, decentralized, whereby if I need the money and somebody, let's say, you know, anywhere in the world, you know, has the money they want to um, uh, create, uh, make uh, you know some interest out of that money, so we can be connected. So there was initial uh, earlier there was a middleman which was the bank. Okay, that person used to give that money to the bank, and I used to go and get the money for the bank. Bank used to charge that person, um, or th that uh, bank used to give some money to that person as you know interest point zero zero one percent. Okay, as you know, you know, there is nothing like, you know, interest, uh, you know, on your saving, if you at all, uh, you know, putting the money on your saving account. So bank keep the, keep the, uh, keep the money. Okay, so that means kind of a free money for banks. Okay, they don't give you any money back. You are just putting the money there, but they have all the money to play with. And now, uh, you know, you are looking for that money, you go to the bank and they charge you interest. Okay without giving them something uh, and nothing or 0.001% nothing, absolutely nothing. So the, you know, the bank is just making money in between here, okay, and the bank professional. So what if that middleman you know, is taken out? So both the parties now are, can be connected. That is what is a blockchain based uh, revolutionary concept whereby both these uh, peer to peer financing is where, you know, we are both connected so that person, this person have the money they want to give or they want to lend and this person here wants to borrow. So the blockchain is where, you know, uh, the transaction gets recorded. That means that's a journalizing the process that creates a token. This is a, you know, it's called a smart contract. Okay, if you haven't come across the concept of smart contract, this is where, you know, uh, uh, you know in a blockchain, you know, a, sp a smart contract is uh, nothing but, uh, you know, the, account authentication, verification, terms and conditions, they are all a kind of a digital contract, okay? That's called a smart contract, okay? Earlier there used to be, you know, hundreds of uh, pages of paper, you have to just uh, fill in and agree and all this, you have to go through the, um, you know, uh, small prints and all. But now with the smart contract, uh, you know, it's just kind of an agreement, both of you agreed on certain terms, okay? And there is no involvement of any central, authority here okay so, you know there's no authority bank is that safe is that on safe well you know sometimes uh, you know you see that regulations are good but sometimes you feel like okay, this is not good as well as long as there is a mutual understanding okay and terms and conditions so everything is clear based on the a percentage of interest what is payable and uh, you know uh, the money um, you know or the interest is automatically paid to this person without any involvement so that means i cannot default it okay that is where uh, uh, you know uh, you uh, you know the currency you know has to be uh, kind of a you know um, stable currency okay a stable currency means uh, you know you have uh, you know usd backed uh, currency you know instead of Ethereum or Bitcoin, which are kind of a, quite it fluctuates a lot. Okay, so with that kind of a, this this uh, this entire um, you know process could be streamlined, uh, you know, uh, as well. Okay, but again, this is evolving. This is not exactly you know we are at the end of it. We are just the beginning. This is a tremendous kind of a, I I I believe this this change is. Uh, kind of after, after uh, you know, kind of, these are the phases. If you see, go back to the history, what I believe that invention of fire was a big thing, okay? In the stone age kind of a thing. And then invention of wheel, okay? Which triggered the entire process of, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, I would say that industrial revolution, okay? So, so that means the wheel, invention of the wheel and then industrial revolution and then 
the next revolution was uh, information technology revolution. That means the internet came in, okay, World Wide Web, okay. And uh, the next thing what I could see now is the Web3, okay. And this is going to be a big change, okay. This is uh, going to transform uh, the entire kind of a humanity, the way we are working, I guess. So we have to understand these concepts as well, okay, because uh, if you haven't come across, uh, you know, um, Facebook you know, recently changed their kind of a company's name itself, parent company is now Meta, okay, which stands for Metaverse, okay. Why are they doing it? Because Facebook wants to take that same uh, concept what they provided now in a W2 world, okay, 2.0 world, they are going to make it, uh, you know, this similar service, but in a uh, Web3 or 3.0. So what does that mean is, uh, you know, interacting or, uh, you know, Facebook, what they do is they enable, you know, um, 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 we to communicate with each other. Okay, so now Mark Zuckerberg is thinking ahead and thinking now, okay, now with the meta coming in or a metaverse or this uh, transformation of the world is uh, coming through now with uh, new, new technology and, and it's a new digital world and, uh, you know, um, what if we can provide, okay, that is what the, the, the idea is to have a, a world, a virtual world of where you can just uh, put this thing on, <laughs> similar kind of a thing like this, um, and you are, uh, you know, you are right there, okay, virtually, okay, now, if you see virtually, we are we are also you know we are interacting with each other now. I am at my home, you are at your home, um, or whatever wherever you are. We are two different and all together, but we see each other. We can hear each other. Okay, and what has uh, what is enabling us uh, this uh, you know this uh, this technology? What is enabling is is the internet. Okay, that is connecting it. So this is a virtual thing. So the next level of this virtual connectivity where, you know, we are, we are connected, uh, you know, in a two-dimensional arena, in a, in, a, um, in a metaverse world, it is three-dimensional, okay? So where, you know, we can, uh, you know, we can be kind of a, uh, I can see you, uh, you know, walking and we can have a cup of tea, uh, probably that world, okay? That the world which will be, uh, you know, we will be together, we can be together, uh, you know, even though we are not physically together, but, uh, you know, in, in a virtual world, we are together, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, you know, experience the same kind of a thing, you know, like the emotion, the experiences will be similar as if we are physically present, okay? That is the world of metaverse, okay? Um, so the two dimensional goes up to, up to three dimensional and Facebook wants to, uh, play a big role because they, you know, as you know, they are the biggest player in this so social networking community. Okay, now they want to take that social network to a three-dimensional community. Okay, where if you want to have a Facebook, uh, you know, uh, let's say a Facebook Live, if you are going just like the way, you know, uh, this was also, you know, we are going live on Facebook now, Facebook Live, uh, you know, and other people can join in. And you just put on something in there instead of looking at a looking at a computer screen or a mobile phone screen, you know you put on uh, you know so, uh, a device like this and uh, which is connecting or you can you will be able to see inside uh, you know you'll be a world uh, out there okay where uh, you are there I am there uh, other people are there and we are having a conversation we are having a chat okay and that is what is is uh, you know the the um, uh, facebook's uh, you know plan or the design but they should uh, they probably you know uh, the other thing or the other dimension of uh, you know this uh, uh, new world is decentralization okay i don't know what facebook is uh, you know will be doing about decentralization because of you know the massive power what they you know facebook has um, so you know uh, decentralization how is that going to work uh, work out uh, you know for facebook i don't know but but all these banks and all these big institutions i know the um, even the governments as well in this new world uh, you know they will be 
uh, they will have less and less power and the next less, less bureaucracy okay so let's uh, now uh, let me just share the screen and we'll quickly go through uh, the world of uh, you know metaverse okay so and we'll talk about digital assets okay we'll talk about digital real estate okay metaverse okay so the, as we are discussing about it okay this is kind of a, you know virtual reality we are we are just looking at uh, things uh, you know um as if it will feel as if you know we are right in there okay just imagine you know you put on this device and uh, you know you are right in the disney disneyland okay or you are right underneath the sea okay exploring the uh, you know the sea life okay so can you can imagine so that is what the experience should be now now let's understand now uh, what is the metaverse okay now we, as you discuss this is a 3d virtual world focused on social connection okay just like the way facebook is doing now exactly the same way facebook uh, you know um, will be uh, going forward uh, in a in a virtual 3d world we'll all be connected okay that is what uh, you know facebook is trying to do now let's go for okay we understand that this world in a virtual world now that brings us to virtual real estate okay so that is what you know you have to understand that okay now the, in this world in this picture as you see okay this is uh, you know people are you know standing in there some people are sitting and they are enjoying having a time now if you see these are the real estate okay now they are virtual again they are not physical okay so um, you know but virtually you can see there's a building there is a there's a tree there okay uh, it's a pavement or you know there is a it's, a it's a lake here okay now these everything are what you see you know people are sitting here and it's a lake there and there are some asteroid or you know some uh, you know i don't know this is a jet plane you know some volcanic eruption if you see all these things what you see now you know in this virtual reality um uh you know these are all called the real estate okay what you see around okay so virtual real estate not physical real estate but virtual real estate so what as what is happening now these real estates in a virtual world are being bought and sold as well wow is that so how can that be possible how can you know something which is virtual which is not really nothing physical there how can that be bought and sold so welcome to the world of metaverse guys so this is what is going to happen so for example if you see decentraland okay this is this is a uh, you know a site uh, an app so the uh, you know with the, with uh, their um, their cryptocurrency is called mana okay um, and uh, you know a virtual plot of land was sold for nearly how much 1 million dollars can you imagine <laughs> virtual uh, piece of land is been sold for a million dollar okay that means 1 million dollar is 1.3 million mana okay what is mana again cryptocurrency just like you know you must have come across uh, bitcoin or ethereum or dogecoin or so many are there so exactly same way mana is the currency uh, decentral land is using okay and they are the kind of uh, you know uh, they are building uh, kind of a virtual uh, land okay can anyone build this land well there is no restrictions okay anyone can build this uh, build the land but the people who are you know uh, engaged now in this process of building huge infrastructure this land and this uh, you know entire virtual thing okay they are building uh, you know acres and acres online so those are the people probably you know uh, they will take over the market okay and also those people who already are in the game in in one kind of the other we'll discuss about that in a minute as well so hope you know you you see the world out there and what is happening now let's talk about um, another uh, you know republic uh, realm okay that's a it's a big company this is a company which is into kind of a virtual real estate okay now, if you see, there is a term you see that is called NFT, virtual real estate NFT on decentralized land sells for almost one million dollars. Okay, so the uh, you know um, 
this uh, company, uh, Republic uh, Realm, what they do is they buy this land and also they develop it. You must be wondering oh, what is this happening now? Because virtually there is nothing in there and how can that somebody, something is be bought and something could be sold? Well, that is what is happening. Let me just show you, uh, share with you the website, okay? So that we understand that, uh, you know, what is happening out there. Uh, so, uh, okay. So now Republic Realm, okay? Uh, let me just share my screen so that you see Republic Realm. Um, what is Republic Realm doing, okay? Now, if you see, this is their website, republicrealm.com. You see it here, okay? Now, this is all they are doing, you know, they see that massive, you know, things they have built. They're all virtual, okay? The swimming pool and this big buildings and this is your yacht, okay? Can you imagine? So this yacht, you can, you know, buy a, a yacht or one room in this yacht. Okay, this beautiful island. Would you love to buy this island? Well, they, they will, pay, uh, you have to pay. But you must be wondering, okay, well, if I buy, then what happens? Why should I buy this, you know, pay my money and buy this, uh, you know, um, this is nothing, you know, this is a kind of a virtual thing, okay? Well, this is what we are going now. Uh, you know, if you, if you understand, uh, uh, you know the the world. Uh, you know the way it's it's evolving now. That all these digital or uh, all these virtual um, uh, real estate. They are saying that okay, this real estate is virtual. So if you buy it, you can make money as well out of it. How can you make money out of it? Okay, just like the way you just say Re Republic Realm. What they did? So they bought the land and they are developing it. Okay, online they're developing it. So that means what they do is they make it as an NFT. Okay, the, the land itself is a non-fungible token. Okay, you must be blown away now. What is a non-fungible token? Uh, what is this guy saying? Okay, you have to understand that one is uh, what is NFT. But NFT is a big thing now. Okay, um, so you must have heard, come across you know some news that uh, you know some some digital ape, the pixelated ape, uh, you know, is uh, being sold for a few millions, okay? You must be wondering how the people have gone crazy now. How can that be pixelated a picture is making, uh, you know, millions? Well, let me just tell you that as well about this NFT world and how much of uh, uh, money are being, um, uh, you know, uh, spent there, okay? So this guy, okay, this is a you know guy from uh, Indonesia, okay. I think it was in news when January twentieth, okay. Um, and this guy became an overnight millionaire, overnight millionaire. What this guy has done? Uploading, you know, uploading my photo into NFT, okay. So he uploaded his his photos. A twenty two year old Indonesian guy, he became a millionaire overnight turning his collection of daily selfies he used to take all these pictures. What he did, is whatever the pictures he was taking, he put it as an, an, an NFT, uh, he put it for sale. And now he is a millionaire. Somebody was willing to buy his pictures for a million dollars. Okay, can you imagine? Would you buy? Well, you know, uh, I would not. Why? Because, you know, okay, I, I understand that he's, he's a nice guy. Uh, computer science uh, graduate, but what am I going to do with that picture? Okay, even uh, I think uh, how many pictures he was he put uh, around uh, thousand picture or something. Okay, so that is worth nothing to me. But guys, if you understand it, even when I went to uh, the Louvre Museum in uh, in Paris, in uh, you know, and that is this painting of Mona Lisa. Okay, it's a small painting. If you haven't been there, you know, you must have seen the painting of Mona Lisa or must have heard about the Mona Lisa, the smile of Mona Lisa. And I did not see anything in that picture or the portrait, to be honest. But there are people out there. Well, one of the reasons why, why, uh, why I went there was to see that Mona Lisa painting. I don't know why. Okay, I don't know why the world, world, world is crazy about that, you know, picture as well. But that picture, if the Lure Museum uh, will sell it, they want to sell that picture, okay? That will be worth, I think, uh, you know, half a billion dollar or something like that, okay? This is multiple millions, okay? Why? Because it has some value. 
but will i pay even uh, will i pay even um, uh, 1000 pounds or 1000 dollars for it well i will pay if i know that i can sell that for a million dollar later then i will buy otherwise i won't so this is how the nft world works okay that all these digital assets all these digital pictures and uh, you know not only pictures guys because a lot of people are think that nfts are pictures we'll discuss about that nfts are you know in the land we discuss about that okay in the land you you are buying a digital land okay this this uh, article let me just share this article uh, you know about tech crunch founder okay on selling his apartment Okay, this is physical asset, guys. Physical building, apartment. Okay, as an NFT in groundbreaking deal. Can you imagine that? Okay, so so the Michael Arrington. Okay, he auctioned his uh, cave, uh, you know, apartment on and as an NFT. Okay, physical asset is being sold. Okay, well, he did it through a company. He just uh, you know. Um, bought, got a company to to you know buy this property, and then he he you know sold it uh, you know through NFT. But what? Why? 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 What is this NFT thing? He's here again. Why would he do that? Okay. Well, right now NFT, you know, is buying and selling of any any property. Okay, any any kind of a building or any land. It is only done. Uh, you know, uh, by registering, okay? So that means if I am selling my land or a building to you, then there is a government authority there. They verify whether I am the owner and then the record. Again, when I say record, you have to understand, recording means we're talking about a blockchain here, okay? So recording, uh, you know, a centralized body, okay, which is, you know in the uk they call it land registry you know and uh, you know every every organization every country have their own uh, you know government body you know who takes care of these uh, registering um, you know the names of the right rightful owner okay so that is how it works so now just imagine that if you take that uh, you know authority out of the picture okay and then this becomes a a deal between two parties, okay? Again, peer to peer, okay? And, uh, you know, uh, you know if that other person, you know, is uh, willing, so this is gets recorded. Again, we talk, uh, we're talking about a smart contract here, okay? It's a token, okay? A token is generated and, and it is recorded on a blockchain, okay? Why is it a blockchain? What is the meaning of the blockchain, okay? So let's understand that, okay? Chain, as you know, okay, this is a kind of a, this, uh, this thing is connected to this thing and all this is a chain, okay, chain is connected, uh, different uh, units when they're connected with each other, okay, identical units kind of a connected with each other, so that, that is kind of a chain. What is a blockchain? It's a block of transactions, okay, and, uh, you know, it chained together, that means, you know, there are one block, okay, and that block means what, okay. Transactions, uh, you know, has to be, uh, you know, let's say one transaction is uh, is is done and it's encrypted and it's, uh, you know, uh, stored, uh, you know, it it is in a blockchain, it cannot be altered, okay. So there can be a modification of, okay, that means there can be another entry relating to this, whatever is stored here in another block, but this cannot be altered, okay. So that is how the, you know, blockchain concept has evolved, okay. So it is recorded now. Once it's recorded, that means, uh, you know, what happens here, there are multiple systems record this. This is not, not one person is recording it, okay? It gets recorded in multiple systems, okay? And uh, when that that is, you know, chained together, that means with one, uh, you know, block has a reference to the next block, okay, which is coming, okay? Ne next, uh, next block with transactions getting recorded. So that it has a reference of the next block, okay? And that block has a reference level. So that means they are chained together, okay? So that means there is a link between, you know, all, all the blocks, okay? And the blocks are nothing but the transactions where it gets recorded, okay? Uh, digitally, it's, it's, it's get recorded, that, that's the block, okay? So now you understand the process of, you know, 
blockchain uh, technology as a matter of fact blockchain developers are the people now with are high in demand okay so uh, you know that is one of the highest paid and high high demand uh, you know sort of professionals now okay anyways so now we'll discuss about uh, you know the this this deal uh, you know that means in a physically as well it's happening so that means it is coming now that it is not far when you will see that buying and selling of real estate physical real estate will be also happening as nft non fungible token now what does non fungible token okay before because english is my third language and i have never come across this word called fungible i've never i had never used this uh, you know word before okay so i was you know quite curious to find out oh, what does that mean non fungible okay so then i come across and uh, let me just explain you real uh, easy way of um, you know what is non fungible okay so in uh, in a blockchain you know um, world when we are talking about cryptocurrency okay now currency for example a bitcoin okay bitcoin is that uh, you know fungible okay what does fungible mean fungible means interchangeable okay that is just in a layman sort of fungible is interchangeable okay so not interchangeable token is non fungible nft okay so now let's understand that okay what does that mean then so not interchangeable if uh, you know crypto okay let's talk about um, uh, bitcoin let's say let's say i have 100 bitcoins with me i wish i had but uh, you know i don't but i'm just assuming that uh, okay if i have 100 bitcoins with me now if um, you know that 100 bitcoins is uh, let's say another person is uh, also looking for a uh, you know bitcoin okay um and uh, you know he's uh, let's say this person is looking for 200 bitcoins so you know and uh, you know i can sell him or i can uh, i can just uh, um you know lend him the wealth okay so he is looking for 200 so i gave him a uh, um, uh, 100 and he is looking for another 100 he can find it from another 100 so that means what happens is here in this transaction then i gave him that okay and in i can also in exchange let's say i can exchange that okay now uh, you give me um, uh, bitcoin of 100 and i will give you ethereum of whatever that value corresponding value or i will do give you usd of so much of value that is possible okay so that means this is interchangeable so the currencies are interchangeable just like you know i can have a 100 dollar uh, or i can have a 10 dollar note and uh, in the i can change that 100 dollar note with a uh, you know to 50 dollar note okay so so do you understand that okay so that means it is changeable okay it is but nft is non not changeable not interchangeable means what so that means if i have this okay this is unique okay this is no more available this is only with me i think this is uh, you know if you want it okay i can only have it or i only have it if you want that i uh, i can sell it to you but there is no more okay so when there is a scarcity that means that one house okay if you are selling a house same address okay your house address whatever it is this is only one there is not not many so those becomes nfts okay that means this is not interchangeable okay so that's called nft okay so we went through a lot of uh, you know things hopefully you are uh, un- able to grasp now let's discuss about this nft thing okay that what is uh, you know what drives uh, you know this nft thing because uh, you know if you understand that this is not uh, you know these are right now you know whatever is being bought and sold uh, you know um, in this nft world okay where do you find this uh, whatever things are bought and sold let me just share the screen as well and uh, show you um, you know a couple of websites where you can you can go and uh, you know 
you can also um, buy okay if you are looking for to buy or if you want to mint your own nft you could do that as well okay so what is the minting you know you must have heard about minting money but this is exactly the similar way you can mint your nft okay so that is that means process of creation okay so open sea this is the most popular one okay if you go to open sea.io then if you see here discover collect and sell so you can create open into our world's first and largest nft marketplace so you can create your nft here okay there are so many nfts okay and uh, this uh, you know if you see uh, okay you can create here this is your wallet which where you collect uh, you connect and ranking okay let's let's see some stats here okay so the top ranking collections of nfts if you see here um the top ranking is uh, you know azuki okay now i heard about this uh, crypto punks which, which was in news a uh, couple of uh, couple of uh, you know weeks or a couple of months back as well okay 24 hours they have crypto punks uh, you know they has uh, reduced now you can see just uh, you know um in but seven days uh, wise they have increased 173 percent guys 74 percent can you imagine okay so there's a big increase so this is also doing good i i guess uh, you know crypt genesis so what do you see here okay floor plan we are not going to discuss about this uh, you know floor plan uh, sorry for floor price i'm sorry for floor price that is the minimum price you know like uh, you know for these collection for example if you go to azuku azuki so with azuki's uh, you know they will have multiple items in their collection okay so these are azuki's uh, you know items do you want to pay how much you have to pay now these you see that it's called yet it's a ethereum okay that is the that is the currency ethereum is the currency where you know these are been listed ethereum okay so so you can buy and the good thing about this is these are unique okay, what do i mean by unique okay you have to make it unique to make the price go up okay so now you see this is the pricing here okay now this is the these are the offers okay so what 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 is that been in offer uh, you know people are uh, the highest offer is you know if you see here the highest offer somebody has given is david uh, choik music whatever that is uh, you know the offer is 1.05 yet okay like the ethereum uh, you know is the digital uh, uh, you know uh, currency here or you know the wallet or the chain is of it we you know yet is the currency here and ethereum is the is the chain now if you see here how much is the price 2497 for a picture like this okay now you must be wondering can i not take this picture you know i can take a screenshot right now and i can i can own it what the hell i mean why should somebody you know you see that minimum bid price you can see that reserve price not met he is uh, selling it for nine thousand dollars guys nine thousand five hundred dollars for this okay now is the, are there people who are uh, willing to pay absolutely that is the reason why you have seen that offer has gone to 2500 and this guy is saying that i'm not going to sell it until you pay me 9500 can you imagine so this is you know i think this is a bit of a hype to be honest i don't know i mean that is my own personal assessment uh, why would anyone pay this kind of a thing but uh, but hey, you know this is what uh, you know the world is uh, looking at now. Okay, this has gone really crazy now. Okay, so now you understand, uh, you know, the process of NFTs or you know what are NFTs and how uh, you know you can mint it as well as uh, you know just on the website like uh, like you know like OpenSea. So what makes e nfts uh, so unique and uh, you know so much of uh, money is uh, you know uh, is there and people are paying willing to pay is the scarcity so that means they have to make it 
um, make it uh, scarce or the, the, if it's something which is unlimited, which is let's for example, Mona Lisa painting becomes, uh, you know, everyone have, uh, you know, one Mona Lisa painting, even though someone can paint or somebody can take a picture and uh, put it in their ho home, but that is not the Mona Lisa painting which we see in Loon Museum. Do you understand that? So that means, uh, you know, even if, uh, you know, you take a picture of that, uh, you know, um, uh, what the picture which you saw on the open sea, but that is not exactly the same thing as the original one, okay? Again, those people who are art fanatic, okay, they will love it. So that means here comes a community spirit, okay? Somebody who is an art lover, okay? Or somebody who likes certain kind of, a, they have some kind of a taste, they start collecting these, uh, you know, NFTs, okay? And, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, basic human needs. So after it is, it is met, then probably I think people go for all these crazy things just like this, okay? So I just don't want to comment that is crazy. But yes, uh, for me it is, but for other people, you know, this is kind of a, a way to spend the money okay, or make money, okay? So scarcity is one thing. That means you make this product scarce, that means there will be a demand. I, um, um, you know, when I feel like I am part of a community, I have something I stand for, it is, uh, you know, is there. So then that becomes my, um, you know, that, that, that is where I know I want to, uh, I want to create, um, you know, my NFTs. Okay. So the third thing is profit. Okay. So that means sheer profit. I want to make money. I know that this NFT will go in, uh, go up in value and I want to buy it and I want to sell it. Okay. That's called the flipping. So I want to flip it. So that's why I, I want to make money on it. Okay. So that is what, uh, you know, are the three factors to me are uh, the reason for NFTs just, uh, you know, going crazy now. Okay. Now, that concludes, uh, you know, the session, but uh, I have, a, you know, um, uh, NFTs completely explained, whatever we discussed today, how you can get involved with NFTs and what are NFTs, uh, you know, uh, so you can, you can also know more about it, uh, you know, it's a free, um, you know, a, um, a book or a booklet, you know, you can, you can download it, uh, you know, it's in PDF format, just uh, click on the link below, um, you know, you will have that link. And you can, you know, um, click there and download this and start reading. Okay, so understand this concept of NFT. That'll be completely, uh, you know, it'll have a detailed description, and uh, you know, you will you learn everything about NFTs. Okay, so hope it made some sense to you guys, and you understood the concept and how this new world of uh, Web 3.0 is going to change this, uh, you know, entire world for for better. Okay. So with that, I am done. My name is Som, Som Prakash. Uh, you know, I am um, an entrepreneurship uh, coach. I help people to uh, make and grow their money. So with that, I'm done and pass it. Uh, I will close it here and see you next uh, for another exciting video on, uh, so we are having another video which is coming on uh, decentralized uh, finance or DeFi, okay? So we'll, uh, uh, you just keep uh, eyes open and this new video will be coming soon, okay? Bye-bye.